Yeah. <laughs> also, like, how do you do he's that? From, they didn't have like hair products. He's from Georgia, right? Yeah, he's Georgian. He's Georgian. Well, right? if you if you don't wash your fucking Savannah, hair, right? it's naturally <laughs> greasy. Yeah, no, that, it's, I don't it's ever. I don't shampoo greasy. my hair. Good. My hair, like, you I know, never wash yeah. my hair. Yeah, yeah. But I never. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> I never had to. I just yeah, you also you don't like wear deodorant. Yeah, you know, you smell like shit. He never smells bad. I don't smell bad. Sorry, you fucking <laughs> gluttonous fucking moron. <laughs> you got Cheeto I, dust in your breasts. I don't, like don't, rotting I don't for eat weeks. Cheetos, thank you. <laughs> you just lick the dust off what? of it. Yeah. I just lick my <laughs> lips. Thumbs. Fuck, I wish someone had. Yeah, so, shut up. <laughs> all fat people smell like sour cream and onion cheese. <laughs> we just had them. That's why I smell like that. I just always have to be eating them to cover up the fact that I smell like them. <laughs> I don't smell like them. I just love eating them. I hate the taste. <laughs> just, it's very it's the only right? way I get that. Oh, fuck. So anyway. <clears throat> anyway. Angels in America. So there's this boy, right? He's well, who's the sexiest so it's, people it's from about, history? It's about this He's boy orphan. who fucking oh, yeah. his, dad leaves. his dad leaves. He his says dad leaves. His dad leaves. Angels he says they, yeah. the pennant. If Donald Trump becomes president, <laughs> then I'll be I'll be your father again. And the little boy who's played by Al Pacino, <laughs> forty one years old, is like, dear God. And then Danny Glover comes in, and Christopher Lloyd, this yeah. angel, he's flying around. Danny Glover comes in, and he's like, yeah. Your boy's got H. I'm gonna adopt Your boy's you. <laughs> Tony Danza's got cancer, and there's nothing we can do about it. <laughs> what is it? About that? I mean, have we yeah. talked about this on the pod before? About how there's a certain thing that happens to some men where they can only whisper. There's like, <laughs> there's like a like, like men when they turn seventy where they just have that voice. Like OJ's friend in that OJ documentary. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I told him. I told him juice. I said, oh, juice. you're going against God's laws, Juice. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to be one of those guys. As but soon as I hit 33. You did talk about the um, like the Christ, men the who are a certain age. age and they scream while stretching or while yawning. While yawning? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get to dad <laughs> age and then you can't just yawn like oh, a normal man, human that's being. that's awesome, yeah. You gotta be, uh, oh, oh, oh. Ah, I'm alive. <laughs> my dad used to do that all the time. He'd be in the car and he'd like yawn at a red light and I'd freak out. I have no idea why he's fucking screaming all of a sudden. Oh, fuck. I can't wait to be old. Go, oh, shit, dude. Uh, Halloween costumes. Who's thinking about them? Yeah. You do sucks. People that are like already planning Halloween four and a half months. Oh, yeah. Yep. They're like, um, it's my favorite holiday. It is a little it's an weird. Adult holiday, Why do you right? have a favorite holiday? Yeah. When we were, when we were, <laughs> you shouldn't hear that. Uh, error number one, having that as a category. No, you right? can have a favorite holiday. I think it's is. fine. You have to. You, it's an obligatory thing. You have to experience holidays. So. Like, yeah, like I like Christmas, even though I, I'm not religious at all. That's probably my favorite one. People that are into Halloween, oh, like really into Halloween. Holiday. I like Christmas because I emotions. stay in New York and do <laughs> mushrooms every year. Because holidays are for people every that Christmas. express love. Oh, you want to do that? No, it's because I don't I'm have down. a job. I, uh, that's my Christmas tradition. I, like last year, I think I ran out of juice to do it with. Oh. <laughs> well, I did. Do I what? Chinese food? I went to the second Yeah. But then go do mushrooms afterwards for uh, on Christmas. Oh, I go fun. to Second Avenue Deli with Ari Stern, Alex Bleeker every uh, Christmas for the last two years. I Ooh. went with Jews yeah, to go nice. to the movie theater on Christmas like a couple years ago. They invited me, and I was like, yeah, sure. And I didn't realize they were going to just spend the fucking day at the movie theater. Oh, yeah, you yeah, go the whole yeah. day. You skip around. I do. Yeah. I do. And you um, pay Chinatown. You pay I do one movie, <laughs> yeah. and just, then I come home, and I do, like, psychedelics. You do like one thing. Molly you or... pay for one thing, but you get oh. nine of them. <laughs> That's what I used to do every year. Me and my buddy Alex Boris, our moms would drop us off at the movies. Uh, Wait, real morning? It's great. Eleven a.m. We look at the newspaper, see when, like, what the runtime of every movie was, and then we plan it out. Oh, I forgot about that. Looking up shit in the newspaper. Remember the newspaper? Yeah, yeah you used to schedule. remember the newspaper. You open up the newspaper. No, I never did the marathon movie thing because I always wanted to do drugs and yeah. I wanted like a full meal. But like, it is fun, to, like, like for Christmas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like, it is fun to do a marathon movie day, especially like in the summer when it's awful and they've got AC. Yeah, it would be mm -hmm. cool to just have your own movie theater. Dude, I got, well, a, I got a fat ass projector, dude. That's uh, nice. Cubus, Cubus used to manage a movie theater. That's how he's seen like every fucking movie. Mm. He would just he would have to watch every single like print that came in to make sure it wasn't fucked up. Really? Yeah. 
That's cool. Mm. Yeah. I think he also worked at an ice cream eating factory. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's so fat. Are they hiring? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I would lo- imagine. I knew a guy that did cream. quality control for uh, uh, Otis Spunkmeyer. Is the that cookies? the name? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cookies, yeah. yeah. Which is like the. And his job is literally the, the jizzy have they cookie. Not, have it's they the not jizzy not cookie eat. company. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> his job uh, is to eat cookies for real. Yeah, Otis, I mean, you know, these cookies are great, but uh, don't you think there should be a name for your company? We're keeping my name. <laughs> it's going to be Otis Spunk Meyer Cookie. <laughs> and no one's allowed to change it. <laughs> Forever. Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck. Spunk Meyer, dude. That's awesome. Yeah. And then there was the famous Amos. There was some guy, Amos guy. And he's like, yeah. we're calling it Famous Amos. And they're like, but Amos, you're not famous. And he's like, shut <laughs> The fuck up, dude. <laughs> Why do you have to ruin this for me? <laughs> Ironically, the cookies made him famous. Yeah. Yeah. I no know one knows Amos. who the fuck he is. I know Amos. He's, he's, this Amos and Andy is the only famous Amos. Maybe that's Amos. Yeah. Maybe they, it's Amos. Well, the original Andy. name was Blackface Cookies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> A lot of people don't know that, that the original Amos and Andy were white guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I think people know that. No, I've mentioned it to people before, and they're like, no, it was... Like, because on TV it was black people, but mm-hmm. on the radio, radio show, it was yeah, yeah, yeah. it was yeah, white yeah. guys. And they tried to, they tried to make it. Those guys were so mad when they didn't get it on TV. They were yeah. like, "What? Well, just we'll do it in black shoes." Yeah. Also, did you know that Al Jolson tried to be in Porgy and Bess? Porgy and Bess. Porgy and Bess. Yeah. And he tried to play it in blackface. <laughs> Well, Al Jolson, did, Al Jolson probably died of like yeah. shoe yeah, polish cancer. Like a, yeah. <laughs> he probably died of complications from blackface. <laughs> when that they did was the autopsy, they found so, three tons yeah, of black, the, yeah. like yeah. shoe polish. He's like in a his fucking coal intestine. miner. The amount yeah. of fucking shoe polish was on that guy's but face. No, Poor Best was like about black people, and the jazz singer was about people in blackface. I know, oh, yeah, that's like, right. It's, it's a different. Yeah. Kind. But that's hilarious that he was like, oh, I could just do it. He thought it was exactly the, the same. skills. It was yeah. awesome, man. He tried to... I, I remember listening to... I don't know. David Allen Greer played... Was in the play and he... Is that the song Old Man Rivers from that? I don't fucking know. I've never seen it, but... It's a good song. Old Man River He sucks my suckage. We went a different way, but it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> he just keeps sucking <laughs> my dick. It's about an old man that by by, lives by a river. No, it's a river off. filled with old men. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they just come down <laughs> from the Yukon. <laughs> old man river. That's where you go to suck and fuck. Yeah. After a nice day of go, uh, my prospecting. Thank you. 